Hello and welcome to another of Creative Block's Two Minute Tool Schools. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the colour replacement tool. You can find the tool in the tools panel over here alongside the brush tool and it works by letting you paint quite roughly over areas to change colours. So you can see I can paint very roughly over the collar here and because I've chosen a bright green for my foreground colour it's replacing that colour with my foreground colour. Now we have a few settings up here in the options bar that allow us to change how the tool behaves. First of all we have four different painting modes here that we can choose from. We have hue, saturation, colour and luminosity. Luminosity works by replacing the colour with the luminosity of your foreground colour. So if I paint over this side of the collar you see we're not going to replace the colour but what we're actually doing is changing the tones based on the luminosity of my green tone here. Let's just undo that and we'll see how saturation works. Now this is going to change the area based on the saturation value of my green colour here. So we're not going to change the colour or the brightness but we're going to change the colour intensity. Now the hue works by changing the colour of the area but it gives a slightly darker finish than the colour mode because we're actually keeping the brightness value of the pixels underneath. We're just changing the hue. Moving on, we have these three options here that change the way the tool samples colours. If we have sampling continuous checked, then the tool will continuously sample different tones as we drag. If we select sampling once, then the tool will sample only over the points that we click on originally, and then as we paint, it will continue to replace colours based on that point. And then we have sampling background swatch, which uses the background colour as a source and will only replace colours based on that background colour. The limits drop down here gives us three options to change the way the tool applies paint. Contiguous means that it will only change pixels that are connected to the point we're painting over. Discontiguous will replace pixels whether they're connected to the point or not and find edges will seek out edge details. And finally tolerance allows you to control how the tool seeks out similar pixels. With a small tolerance value the tool will only seek out very similar pixels but with a wider tolerance value it will look further afield when it comes to choosing similar tones. So there we go that's how to use the colour replacement tool to change colours in your image. And after just a couple of minutes painting the tool can really transform the colours and tones in your image.